Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into today's podcast and I hope that you all are having a fantastic day and that you are also doing great. So apparently King Charles has made an Instagram post about Armed Forces Day and when the public reminded him that he forgot to include his son Prince Harry who is a veteran with combat experience and who served for 10 years and instead of King Charles actually reading the room and correcting what the public had told him, he decided to limit the replies. I mean, for how long is he going to keep up with this charade? Are they going to forever limit their replies? Because this is not the first time that the royal family or King Charles is being called out for actually not even including Prince Harry in most of the posts, which which he should include Prince Harry and then King Charles or whoever manages the accounts goes ahead and limits the replies. I'm just wondering if the message of how the public viewed them gets through to these members of the royal family because this is not the first time that they are pretending as though they don't know Prince Harry. This is just so pathetic. Just take a look at this post. Uh, the first slide says that Today provides a particularly valuable opportunity to acknowledge publicly the selfless service and sacrifice made each day by our armed forces personnel to keep this nation safe, signed by Charles. The next slide is of King Charles, the next one of Prince William, that the next one of King Charles and Prince William, then another one of Camilla, then another one of Prince Edward. And another one of Sophie and the last one of Anne. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't include Prince Harry here. Prince Harry is the only one who served for 10 years. Prince Harry is the one who went for two tours in Afghanistan. So I don't know why he would be excluded on Armed Forces Day. He should be the one who should be celebrated in all these. But yet... Charles has just decided to neglect his son, he's decided to turn a blind eye on his son. But you know what? King Charles is just a failed father, he is a failed grandfather, a failed father in law, a failed everything because he just doesn't even display his leadership skills. He just shows how biased he is and how he has totally decided to neglect his own son. And many of the royal family's Instagram comments were questions why Prince Harry, a veteran who served for 10 years and conducted two tours to Afghanistan, would be excluded on Armed Forces Day. I mean, just, this just doesn't make sense at all. Prince Harry should be the one who's given priority on this day. And they can't tell me that it's because these are the working members of the royal family. These people are not working. They don't work. The only thing that they do on a daily basis when they go out to the public is wave and smile to the public. There's no working that they do. Harry and Meghan are the working members of the royal family at this point. And I don't know if you all know, but Prince Harry has also been omitted from the list of serving members of the royal family and the armed forces on the royal family website. The man who served for 10 years, imagine. And as the fifth in line to the throne, Prince Harry is very much a true-blooded member of the royal family. So I don't know why they don't include Prince Harry in all this. And it's so pathetic. I can't insist that enough. Just take a look at all these comments asking why they didn't include Prince Harry. And this just tells you one thing, that the tablets have actually succeeded in causing an illusion that would have you think that people are not seeing what the royal family are doing to Harry and Meghan and just how sick that is. And when you look at all these replies, when you read all these replies, you can clearly see that the tabloids are lying about about the image of these other members of the royal family. Not so many people love the royal family. They're not so popular as the media would love to tell you on a daily basis. Just take a look at all these comments. The first one, why not a picture of Harry as you did with William? 
Another one being the Duke of Sussex also served, I believe he saw combat, yet he's not included. Another one, what about a picture of your son who's actually served in the British Army and was in the Queen's Guard sworn to protect Queen Elizabeth? Another one, yet you have another son who fought to remember we do. Pity you can't show us a picture of him. It's such a pity and it's also an embarrassment. Another one say that Prince Harry served two tours in Afghanistan and you didn't even post a photo of him. Shame on you. I mean, shame on the royal family. Shame on them because they're just showing how they hate Prince Harry, how they're never going to include Prince Harry. It's like they've really outed Prince Harry. And because of what? Just because he married a biracial woman and that he is now speaking his mind and he knows what is right from what is wrong? Is that the reason why these people are so mad at Prince Harry? Well, just shame on them. Actually, 90% of these replies were about asking if Prince Harry, why Prince Harry wasn't posted here and why all these other members of the royal family were posted. So... This is the reason why they decided to limit their comment section because just like Piers Morgan and the other uh, British media, they can't bear to listen to the truth because the truth hurts them. And, you know, I was really shocked to also learn that King Charles included his brother Edward, yet Prince Edward actually flunked out of basic training after barely four months. Imagine but they preferred to post Prince Edward instead of Prince Harry in combat. And just take a look at this post. It says that after leaving university, Edward had joined the Royal Marines who had paid £12,000 towards his tuition at Cambridge University on condition that he served five years. However, he dropped out of the grueling commando course after completing just one third of the uh, 12 month training imagine that means that prince edward just went to training for three months and philip who was the captain general royal marines at the time served in the armed uh, forces himself and was known to be a tough father who was allegedly not best pleased you know i'm just really disappointed in king charles like like his choices in life is just so shocking i can't understand how he chooses to post all these people and just ignore Prince Harry at all. A person who served in the armed forces for 10 years. A person who had two Afghanistan tours in service of Britain. I mean, that is just such a shame. But you know what? We as the squad and most of the people who can see what Prince Harry is going through, we are going to celebrate him on this day because we can see the uh, service that he's done to the old community we can see how he has been a very much big help to a lot of people and he even continues to celebrate the veterans and so many other people who served who served that country so we can see prince harry we can see his work even though his failed father refuses to acknowledge that i actually think that king charles is always going to choose any other person but not prince harry is always going to put any other person above Prince Harry. But you know what? Shame on him. He should feel ashamed. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, I'm just so pissed at, at what King Charles did. And I'm just so glad that he received all this criticism and also being called out on Instagram. Just let me know what your thoughts are concerning this. And I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Goodbye.